Ecosystems are like finely tuned machines. Every plant, animal, and microbe has a role to play. From the insects that pollinate flowers, to the predators that keep herbivore numbers in check, to the decomposers that recycle nutrients back into the soil. When all these parts work together, populations stay balanced, resources are shared, and the whole system stays healthy and stable. But sometimes, that balance can be disrupted. When a new organism arrives in an environment where it doesn't naturally belong, the ecosystem can be thrown off course. These newcomers are known as introduced species, and they can have major impacts on the places they invade. Throughout history, most introduced species have been linked to human activity. As people traveled, traded, and settled in new areas, plants and animals were carried with them, sometimes on purpose, sometimes by accident. In many cases, humans intentionally moved species in the hope of improving agriculture, controlling pests, or reshaping a landscape to suit their needs. Whether deliberate or unintentional, these movements have placed organisms in environments where they didn't evolve, creating conditions that can shift or destabilize entire ecosystems. A great place to see the impact of introduced species is Australia, notable because it is a completely isolated island continent with a huge number of endemic organisms found nowhere else on Earth. For millions of years, Australia's plants and animals evolved without the predators, competitors, and diseases present in other parts of the world. This long isolation created ecosystems that are incredibly unique, but also extremely vulnerable to newcomers. One of the most famous examples is the cane toad, Introduced in 1935 in an attempt to control beetles damaging sugarcane crops, the toads quickly spread far beyond the farmlands where they were released. They never solved the beetle problem, but their toxic skin has poisoned native predators such as quolls, goannas, snakes, and even freshwater crocodiles. As the toads continue to expand their range, they have reshaped food webs and reduced populations of many native species. Other introduced animals have caused equally serious problems. Camels, originally brought to Australia in the 1800s for transport in desert regions, were later released or escaped into the wild. Today, they form the world's largest feral camel population overgrazing fragile vegetation, trampling wetlands and waterholes, and putting pressure on plants and animals already stressed by dry conditions. Feral goats are another challenge. Descended from animals brought in as livestock or released as a food source, goats can thrive in harsh, rocky environments. Their constant browsing strips shrubs and grasses leaving native herbivores with less food and removing important shelter for small birds and reptiles. Feral pigs, sometimes called wild boars, were introduced by early settlers and have since spread through northern and eastern Australia. Their habit of digging up soil in search of roots and insects destroys wetlands, causes erosion, damages crops, and disturbs the nests of ground-laying animals such as turtles. They also spread weeds and diseases that affect both wildlife and livestock. Predators introduced for recreational purposes have also had large effects. Red foxes, brought in for hunting, 
now prey heavily on small mammals, birds, and reptiles, contributing to the decline or extinction of native species. Together, these species show how quickly an ecosystem can be altered when organisms are introduced into environments where they never evolved. Australia's experience highlights the importance of understanding ecological balance and the far-reaching consequences of moving species from one place to another.